All right, guys, we're going to take a moment to make this uh, laser beam tutorial. So the first thing we're going to do is go to File Base and search for Pistol. Inside of here, I have a sci-fi pistol that will work really well with this example. Go ahead and import that into your project and create a new script called Laser Handgun. Go ahead and attach that to a parent object and uh, attach that script to that. I call this sci-fi handgun position. And in here, I also am going to place in my line renderer. We're gonna drop a line renderer material that is compatible with the line renderer and you'll be able to see the color. Now we're gonna shrink down the size and we need to create two points, the fire point, and then we also need to create the target. And we need to align those along to the barrel so that we know where the line is gonna be for the gun. Next in our script, we're gonna create serialize the field, get the line renderer component, and then attach a line renderer. And then we're also gonna serialize the transforms for both the fire point and the target position. Next, we're going to start and be able to see this vis uh, visual. So we're gonna set the line renderer starting position to the fire point, and then the next index, which is the target position, we're gonna set that at one, and we gotta make sure we drop those fields into the serialized areas, press play, and we should now see the line renderer on those two points. Excellent, now we need to make it shoot. So, in the input, we're gonna do input.getKey down, and when we fire, when we start, we actually want the line renderer to be off. So we're gonna enable, set the enable to false, and then when we do shoot, we're gonna enable these points to those positions and then enable the line renderer to true. Now we just need to turn off the line renderer after like 0.2 frames a second. So we're going to create another function called turn off laser and all it's going to do is turn the line renderer dot enable to false and we're going to invoke it after 0.2 frames. So go ahead and test that and shoot your bullet and you got a firing line renderer. Good work.